Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning. High in fibre and low in GI. Oh, I feel like gosh. I'm doing an ad in the Very time. Nice. Uh, the Anzac biscuit was born out of uh, a need in wartime and it's just significant as, uh, today as it was then. Carolyn Cresswell is with us today to show us how to make this uh, fabulous, uh, typically Australian, traditional treat um, with 100% Aussie made stuff. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Carolyn. Good to see you. Hi, hi. I know, it was like very much kind of, you know, of oh. the day, wasn't it? Good morning. Yes. Of course, you're, you're uh, au fait with cereal, aren't you? Well, that's what I've done for 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it was only actually a couple of years ago that we introduced a, a new sort of premium rolled oat that um, we, we found some farmers that could specially get our oats triple cleaned and um, were able to give us a low GI oat and so that morphed into our Anzac recipe. And, and, and if you're a regular watcher of the show you'll know that we had Carolyn in a couple of months, was it a couple of months ago, was it last year? I'm trying well, to think end now. End of last year. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the end of last year. And we were talking about, about your company which you started, you know, really from nothing. All of yeah. a sudden you've developed this business empire. So I sort of bought it for a thousand dollars 15 years ago and slowly have built it up and then um, now we sell to all the big supermarkets in Australia and we export to 15 and countries. Seen. All over yeah. the world. How Love important it. is it to you that your product is uh, Australian? Absolutely critical. And I think it's important to me ethically for who I am as a person, but it's really also important for our brand positioning. So people pick it up and they read and they say, oh, this is Australian. From our packaging, you know, I could save 15% overnight by getting our packaging from Asia. Yeah. But we actually say that's part of what our company stands for, and people love that. Yeah, and, what, it is. and why is it important that we go to Australian farmers to get... Well, I think the thing is that people don't understand that the farmers have been, like, say, in oats, for the last five years have been in serious drought. Mm. And so they've had half the production that they used to have, but they can't just double their prices because they have to compete with overseas product. So they're just really struggling. Exactly. So the more that we can actually support Australian companies, Australian farmers, you know, from packaging to ingredients, the better for... Good, good. Let's right. start cooking before okay. we get. And you know, there's no better oat than an Aussie oat. Yes. Now, is this on? <laughs> now, I'm just, I'm going to take charge here, otherwise we'll run yes. out of time. Am I, now, do you do, know how to work no, that thing? Do I need on, to worry about yeah, those? just keep a vague <laughs> idea of... How do I know when they're done? Oh, well done. Yeah, okay. don't let them burn, Dave, because there's no. nothing worse. If you let them cook too long, they're too crispy, aren't they? Yes, that's yeah. the secret. Okay. So, David, can I um, bother you to do a do little something bit of here and something yes. over there as well? No, I'll keep, no. I'll no I'll keep multitasking. Keep so, if you can just, I'll put this in here. You're I just think they might be ready, you know. All right, do you want to pull them out and see? Should I? Yeah, so that's if you're a, in charge. How much butter are we putting in there? We're putting in 125 grams. And if you can just give that a little bit of a stir and yep. melt that. Yeah, they yes, are. I can so do that. Don't, you don't yes. like them to cook too much or they get too crispy. So I reckon that's just about right there. Oops. Well, yep, nice and soft. Beautiful. So can I bother you to yes. do the... Um, you're not bothering me at all. You just... You instruct me and I'll do as I'm so told. So do you want to just mix the um, ingredients? Okay, so we've got... Desiccated coconut. Desiccated coconut, brown sugar, plain flour, and I'll measure out some oats. You use brown sugar with yours. I've yes. never used brown sugar, but it well, makes sense. Yeah, so um, this recipe was tested by someone. There was a cafe in Paris that wanted these Australian Anzacs. And so someone, a friend of mine's mum, tested every recipe. And Get she's out. actually a home economist. And she said, this is the perfect Anzac biscuit recipe. So okay. Uh, and this is the one that they use in Paris? Yes, and my four-year-old child can make them. Um, and you can make them. Generally, you've got most of the ingredients in your kitchen at home. You do. And if you don't have the oats, feel free to substitute with muesli. We often just make it oh. straight with muesli and it works perfectly oh, fine. So okay. if you don't have those, um, feel free to substitute. That's good to know. What do they call the Anzac biscuit in France, in Paris? Uh, I think they call it the Anzac biscuit. They Le call. Anzac. <laughs> they had better. Le Anzac. So, do you there know the history of the Anzac biscuit while I try and multitask here? Well, yeah, so. apparently, apparently it, was, it was designed as a healthy supplement yeah. for the soldiers. So it was women who were worried about their husbands not eat, eating nutritionally, nutritiously. So they decided that they would try and um, design a product that could be sent over to them, which was going to take two weeks, two months at sea. And so they had to keep? Had to keep, mm -hmm. so they couldn't put eggs in it. So they came up with this recipe and um, initially it was called the Soldier's Biscuit and then after Gallipoli it was renamed the Anzac Biscuit. There so any, there's a bit of history. Is there any truth to the rumour that if the diggers stuck it in their top pocket it would it, it stop the bullet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But apparently really sometimes ones. it was so hard they actually turned it into porridge. So um well, was, yeah, so they put some that some works on too. It. Yeah, and so the oats? add the oats. I so do love through. rolled oats. I absolutely well, I love oats yeah. and I love rolled oats. What does rolled rolled oat mean? So you, mean? you grow an oat 
and then you take the outer shell off the husk and that gets given to animals for animal feed yeah. and then you have an oat of which you steam it so it's pliable mm -hmm. and then you that becomes a stabilized steamed groat I think and then it gets rolled and then it goes through this process to become actually a rolled oat. So it all depends on how rolled it is. So a lot of people, if you're making porridge at home, they're tempted to want to use quick oats, but they're actually medium GI. So this, this GI is this new trend uh, yep, yep. about um, trying to sort of have sustainable energy throughout the day. So okay, so we want to use the better. proper oats. You want to use proper oats and you want to make an effort to stand over a pot for five minutes and actually make your porridge you know, it, it doesn't take long and then it is actually more nutritious. And yeah, exactly. And it tastes better, so much better. Okay, what's well, next that. in here? We've got Beautiful. the butter. So then we're just going to, I will help here. So we're going to throw, throw in, this in some golden syrup. Okay. We're going to throw is in some... Is golden syrup the same thing as treacle? Yes, I think. Oh, I'm not the expert, but I think it is. And what's okay, that? water and So this is some bicarb of soda, bicarb. some golden syrup. We can do it with honey if you don't have golden syrup at home. We use our honey. I think sometimes you have to just work with the fact of making it. And sometimes, you know, it's ten. Mm. Okay. I can't. We <laughs> well, that means it's ready, although we already know they're yeah. good. And, so. it, and it does this sort of weird thing here where it froths up. Yeah, That'd so that's. That'd be the bicarb, sort of, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put those ones there. I'll get the tray out for our ones. Should okay. I stir vigorously yes, here? Yes, beautiful. And at what point should you. Stop stirring vigorously. Yeah, so that's done. So it's we'll done. Turn that off. It's Thank you very bendy. much for your help. It's yeah, absolutely the dead easiest go. thing to do, isn't it? Isn't it? And like I said, um, you can, it's a great thing to do. I sort of find as a working mum that I try and do things with my kids that are sort of engaging and fun. And this is something that they absolutely love and they can um, make there it. There they in, are. Oh, there. There's Will and Lily there. <laughs> um, and they can make it quite um, easily. And oh, they're it, making Anzac cookies. Yes, and they can do it um, in a sense that, are you right there? Um, I should have given you an apron, sorry. No, that's um, all right. They, um, you can, you can do it. You know, they might be as perfect as you know how we might do them, but it doesn't matter. It's still um, gorgeous and and it is rather hard to stuff them up, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. If you get, I mean, and and the mixture I know is meant to be fairly dry. Do you want yeah. to take yeah, over yeah. there? I'm just, I'm going yeah. to start slopping it everywhere and get in trouble. <laughs> uh, the mixture does need to be fairly dry because the idea is you squash them together. Is that right? And then, yes. Is that how so, you do it? Yeah, yeah. So you'll see in a sec. And do you put the fork mark on them? Uh, no, but you the can. What? What's that? Um, whoops. My gran, whenever she used to make Anzac biscuits, she would always get her, well that's a spoon, but imagine that's a fork, and she'd dip it in flour so it didn't stick, and then she'd sort of do a fork squash on the top. Oh, she said that was, that that was, was the was... secret? Wow. That's yeah. the traditional way, is it? Or is well, it? I don't know. She always seemed to think it was, but... I might do this with my hands. Yeah, so. I do it with my yeah. hands too. And I think that's what, what suits the kids too. And so you can make here. them all sort of different sizes. Now see how that's not perfectly mixed in. Does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. You'll just grab it with your hands and... And you just kind of squash hands. it in yep. a bit. There we go. It's absolutely sensational. Well, you're not going to flatten those down? Well, I will in a minute. I'll just... Uh, you'll see. <coughs> I'll just <coughs> fix this oven. <laughs> David, I wish you'd I? learn how to work the oven. Uh, I wish someone had learned how to work the <laughs> oven. <laughs> I know, we'll, we'll sort it out sooner or later. Now, uh, if you would like Carolyn's recipe for Carmen's Anzac biscuits, you can download all of the details from our website or you can check the demonstration out later on as well. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Hook into these later on. Beautiful. Thanks, see you again. Thanks. Nice to see you. And we'll be back after this. Uh...